Rose Rintz is the Vice President with IAC. She's here talking at the conference all about craftsmanship, which I find very interesting. Why and what are you talking about? So I call it the revolution of the future, that to be able to personalize with very crafted materials and processes so that the consumer gets what they pay for. And give us some examples of what you're talking about. So for example, a lot of people in the past, I think in the 1970s, mold and color plastic was really the, the mantra, right? And since that point in time, people have expected the interior to become more like their, their living room. So we've changed up the material types. We've changed from you know, typical plastic to leather. And the capability to put that leather and fashion it in such a way that the seams are where you want them, with the color thread you want them. And then the next generation, how do I simulate leather? so that I don't have to keep killing cows. There you go. And I got to believe too that the public wants to see that this interior of their car just didn't pop out of a molding machine. They want to get the idea that somebody built it by hand. Is that what you mean by craftsmanship? Well, I, it is, but it's also the feel and the haptics. So when I've talked to a few people at the conference thus far, they expect the vehicle to feel like they want it, right? To look like they want it. So my choice of where I put the materials, how I engage those materials with the rest of the electronics to make sure that I pass all the safety requirements is key. And it's not just as simple as gluing on leather or gluing on another piece of fabric. It's making sure that it fits, it has the perfect finish or craftsmanship, and that it's going to meet all the safety mandates regulated by the government. Sounds like design is going to play a critical role in pulling off what you're talking about. Uh, design is important simply from the standpoint of we're changing things um, such that the automotive industry isn't really aware of how it's going to be crafted. You know, when I talk about a Tesla and the iPad being kind of stuck in the middle, we're going beyond that to make sure that the materials we choose, along with how we embed the electronics, are perfect from a fit and finish standpoint and where the people want them. And that's not an easy job. So it's got to be both a design and a manufacturing issue for a company like IAC. It is. Uh, design, um, that raises another question about competence of the people and type of people that you're hiring. So when I look at the capability to hire people for the next generation development, I'm looking at industrial engineers. I'm looking at chemical engineers that are also civil engineers. So I think that broad range of change in the industry from a material slash process standpoint is going to be a broad change in the type of people that we hire. So it's not just a matter of trying to find the talent, you've got to find the right talent. Find the right talent and not necessarily the talent that's been um, developed with the universities to this point. We're working very closely with the University of Detroit, I sit on their board, to try to fashion an industrial engineer along with chemical engineering and mechanical engineering. And I think that's going to be the success in the future. Either you do it with people that have already, you know, a group of people, or you do it through the combined talents of many of those types of disciplines. I think that's something that a lot of people don't appreciate is how heavily involved the automotive industry is in education. So preparing the next generation of people coming into it. And uh, that's got to be fascinating For sure. that what you're doing with the university. Absolutely. And not just the University of Detroit, univers universities across the United States and, and the rest of Europe and the rest of the world. It's key. The labor, the talent that we hire are really key to how we design the interior of the future. Very good. Rose Rins, good. thanks so much for your time. You're very welcome, yeah. John. Yeah. Thank you. The way we drive is transforming with new automated capabilities through innovative solutions like radar sensor technologies for increased vehicle safety. Hella is leading the way in shaping the future of mobility.